We've wired hidden cameras all around the world in an effort to capture celebrity footage. Stuff you never thought you'd get to see. Until now. This is... Oh, would you step in? What is that? Starveillance? Misha Bart recently killed off from her hit TV show and heading this way. So we gotta make this fast. Ah, the pressure. Oh my god, go, go, go! During the third season finale, a fatal car accident brought her character's life to a tragic end, as well as Misha's career. Ah, we don't know that yet. Just stick to the facts. No time for facts. Here she comes. Come, come this way! I'm alright, I guess. I just feel so strange not shooting the OC, and frankly, I just don't want to feel like I'm some unemployed loser actress now, you know? I Oh, I'm just walking into a coffee shop. I'm gonna kill some time before my next audition. I'll talk to you later. Yo, skinny white bitch. Excuse me? You're in my seat. Wait, are you Michelle Rodriguez? Weren't you in Lost? Weren't you gonna get up? Or am I gonna have to bitch slap you around with that menu? No, 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 no. I I'll get up. Thanks. I just have some time to kill before my audition. <gasps> bitch, I ordered a cappuccino. This sh it is mocha. <gasps> Lucky for you, I've got some time to kill before an audition. Oh my god, what's going on? Welcome, Miss Unemployed Actress. Excuse me? I saw the season finale of The O.C., so I thought I should say welcome. And yes, I am television's Shannon Doherty. Well, thanks, Shannon, but... I won't be here a lot. Actually, I'm just killing, killing time, time before, before an audition. An audition. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're all just killing time before an audition, Misha. But uh, I'm not like you guys. I was in denial once. It all started on 90210. After several seasons, I was told my character, Brenda, was going to Europe. I spent months working with an acting coach, perfecting my French accent for Brenda's big return. And it never Came. Well, that's terrible. But on Charmed, my departure was mutual. That's not what I heard. Shut it, Star. Do not make me give you my infamous look. All right. See over there? That's Shelley Long. Oh, wow. Never the same since Cheers. Now she's auditioning for Shakespeare in Love. But that movie came out like six years ago. I know. Oh, my God. Listen, you're young. You have other options. Playboy. I couldn't do that. Oh, no, of course not. I mean, neither could I. I thought you... Shh. You do have one more option, of course. What? Lifetime movies. No! Don't say that to me! Don't you ever say that to me! You are one of us, Misha. No, I'm not! One of us, You're Misha. one of us. You're one of us, Misha. Misha. And Barbara Walters, wherever you are, you're you. Are this is Misha Barton. I need to talk to my agent now. <laughs> What do you mean he's on a call? Yes, he has my number. No! <sighs> Hello? Oh my god, I thought you weren't taking my calls. Oh, an audition. Fantastic. Play a young mother with cancer? I... Hey, what network is this on? In 2001, Jennifer Lopez had it all. A singing career, an acting career. Even a criminal career if you count those charges of gun possession. Eh, she was acquitted in all that. Right, that's splitting hairs. But everyone still knows you're nobody in this town if you don't have a distinct smell you can market to the masses. Yeah, now through the magic of celebrity-endorsed perfumes and colognes, anyone can smell like Cher, Celine Dion, or even Derek Jeter. That, that's gross, dude. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. Oh my goodness, Jennifer Lopez, thank you so much for sparing the time. Okay, you're going on for too long. Oh, well, we just wanted to say we're very, very excited, excited on this collaboration. No, I want to come up with my smell. I'm sorry, can you not look me in the oh, eye? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now you're staring at my chest. Oh, I, I uh, didn't mean to I'll okay. look at my desk. Um, what do you got for me? Well, we think our first fragrance really does encapsulate what we picture as you. And what is it? It's a, a musk with hints of lavender. What? And like a pepper, so it's got this spicy flavor. You guys aren't really getting getting it because like these are smells and stuff but I want the perfume to smell like me okay why don't you describe yourself in two words <laughs> I'm real 
I'm real. I'm real. I'm okay. real. I mean, I've seen these other stars, and I've smelled their perfumes, mm-hmm. and they don't smell anything like them. Well, okay, but about... it, it captures the essence. Mm. Like, Britney's curious really does capture her essence as a pop star. No, Britney doesn't smell like that. I smell that girl. She smells like Red Bull and a urinal cake. Maybe mm-hmm. Jessica Simpson. Yes. No, but that's not what that girl smells and... like. She smells like holy water and tuna fish. Okay. Mm-hmm. You okay. know? There's other celebrities. They don't smell anything like their perfumes, you know? What do you mean? I mean, like, Paul Newman? You know, that stuff smells like ranch. That's okay, not what he smells um, like. That's not a perfume. That's a salad dressing, J-Lo. Well, whatever. Well, I mean, you really wanted to reflect something about you then, right? Listen, I, mean, I don't want you to just get the essence of me. Mm-hmm. I want you to literally get my smell. And I'm Jenny from the block, all right? How about a token booth and thong underpants? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm, I'm liking that. Okay. It's real. It I'm is real. real. You know what it smells like? It smells like used gum and sexual assault. Mm. I like that. I like that. Can we throw in maybe something a little flashier, like some diamonds or something? Okay, diamonds, diamonds don't have a smell, but yeah, we can do it. Yeah, okay. we can do it. Let's do it. Maybe like diamonds and then, and then trash. Sure. That's, sure. That would Absolutely. Be great. That's a good name too. Diamonds, Diamonds and, and trash. trash. Yeah, that definitely encapsulates your essence. People eating pizza, smoking cigarettes, sweating. It's the sweating. block, it's and you're Jenny block. from the block. And what does the, the block. block smell like? Ooh, the block. The the shape could it be could like be just a block. It could be a block. That was my it could idea. Be a block it could be a block. block. Of yes, it I was it your idea. You I it. witnessed and it. The reason that I have been so successful is because I smell good. Okay. I mean, I've bad guys. You guys can't even imagine. They know what I smell like, those guys. Mm-hmm. You know? That's why they all left. <laughs> <laughs> smell me. What? what? Okay, what? Smell me. I have a master's, but okay, I'll smell you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> did you have Indian food last yes, night? Yes, I did. Jazz- exactly. There's notes of jasmine. Mm-hmm. Smell me here. I can just sense mm. your shallowness right mm. here. Mm. Orange, kind of orange, orange, yes, orange. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, this is now good. smell me here. <laughs> Glow. Yeah, it is glow. I like it. JLo presents glow. glow. Where's my check? Well, I guess you better hurry up and catch it then, buddy. <laughs> I just prank called Chevy Chase. This guy's got everybody on speed dial. Dude, we're in a top producer's office getting ready for Mel Gibson's arrival, and out of all the people to risk getting us caught trespassing for, you chose Chevy Chase? Sure, he's fun. I'm fun. What, do you want to date him? Oh my God, Corbin Burnson. For real? Okay, one more prank call, then we gotta go. Deal? Deal. Mel Gibson! Nice to see you, Braveheart! Oh, oh, oh. Good night. Good night. So, Mel, what are you pitching us today? Word around town is this picture is heavy. Big time. I thought you'd take this over to the Weinsteins over at Miramax. <laughs> Speaking of heavy. Not, not, not really their kind of movie. This, this movie is a bigger and, and better movie. In a word, it's a blockbuster. Like to oh, hear that, Mel. Yeah, b- and car chases, right? Ching. Actually, this movie is about a hero. The greatest hero of all time. Uh, Rambo. Come on, we're talking James Bond Derek here. Diggler. Chicken Little. Bigger and, and better. This, this man doesn't use weapons, just, just the power of his ideas. Let's call him the sun. <gasps> nice Ooh, name, man. Tasty. Mel. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer, mate. Everyone knows the sun because his story is already a best-selling book. I hope it's better than that the Da Vinci Code. I think it was Boarsville and the planet Forty board boy. Nice one, boss. Thank now, you. Now don't worry. This book is so much better. We start out at the height of the Roman Empire. All right, stop right there. Time out. Can I just give you two words? Love it. That's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> Our hero has just turned thirty-five. Ooh, Ooh thirty-five. Nah. Oh, no, wait, wait, <laughs> wait a minute, Douglas. The Romans want him exterminated because he's misunderstood in his time. But he's a genius. Kind of a gladiator meets a beautiful mind kind of thing. Tender huh? and aggressive. Exactly. The people all around the sun have no respect for his father. So our hero tries to help, but before he can do something about it, he's betrayed by. Get this. One of his closest mates. Sean William Scott. Yes! Okay, so the sun guy walks in on his wife, f- his best friend, oh, right? PG-13. Side saddle, baby. It's <laughs> yeah. classic. No, 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 Am I right? No. <laughs> just, just listen. The friend betrays him for 30 pieces of silver. Okay. Okay, so how much in is that? Roughly. I don't know. Maybe ten bucks? Ten bones? Nothing! I wouldn't get me a cup of piss at Starbucks. <laughs> this guy is one greedy son of a bitch. He, he had no choice. It was destiny. And the son is captured. He's beaten in the streets. And then he's taken to a prison cell and beaten some more. Oh, Ooh. man. <laughs> this guy could take a lick. Yeah, shades of Rocky. Love Rocky, exactly. <laughs> so it's like a Rocky then, right? Mm, no, not, not really. You see, the son never fights back. 
This guy's a sicko, right? No, no, he just has amazing powers of forgiveness. Wow, and then his partner comes in, moves down everyone, right? Oh, hailstorm. Machine guns. No, no partners, no saving. And in the end, the son dies. He what? He dies. No hmm. flamethrowers? Nothing? No. No sequel? No. No franchise? No, you're not hearing okay, me. Okay, all right, breaking it down here. So he gets the crap beaten out of him, doesn't fight back, then dies. Not working for me. This poor sap must be the biggest wuss of all time. Jesus Christ, who is this guy? Bingo, you just said it. It's Jesus Christ. I want to do the story of Jesus, but only the death part. I call it the passion. Uh-huh. Oh, also the movie will cost $100 million, and it's completely in Aramaic. Era who? With mm. subtitles, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, hmm. Mm. Can we call it Lethal Weapon 5? Resurrection Day. Oh, check it out. Mad Christ. Beyond Bible Dome. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> or, or, chick flick. What women want? Jesus. Ooh, guys, 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 it. guys, look, look. I really want to stick with the passion. Okay, Mel. Uh, you know, we'd love to make this. Mm. It's just we're in the business of making money. Okay. Okay, I get no. it. Sorry, Mel, but we love it. No, don't worry Honestly, about it. Honestly. It isn't your kind of movie. It's okay. I'll tell you what. I'll finance it myself. All right, And no, you'll see. Stop it, Ed. You'll all be sorry hey, to Mel, Don't Good drive luck, angry. Mel. Hey, this has nothing to do with us being Jewish. Oh, man, did we <laughs> dodge a bullet on that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. It would take a miracle for a turkey like that to make a dime. Who's going to sit through that? Nobody's <laughs> going to see that. Hey, 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 hey. You, you hear something? Ah, that's probably birds or something. Yeah. Hey, let's get back to work on Fast and Furious 5. La Cinco. Oh. Hey, you probably want to watch more Star Valley. Kabbalah, Kabbalah, la. Right, my settled tiger. I love my Oscar. We're standing on Madonna's rehearsal stage for her upcoming Confessions tour. Okay, I once stripped down and took a can of oil and poured it all over my body and then slid on the lawn naked. It felt kind of good. It felt kind of really good. Why are you telling me this? I, that, that was my confession. Don't ever confess anything again. Okay, Madonna. Uh, and bump uh, and grind uh, and bump, uh, grind. Uh, Instantly, uh, now we're twirling. Uh, uh, Oh, that is the third bloody time that's happened. But, baby, we can oh? cut the twirling if it's making you dizzy. I am not bloody dizzy, Juan. This thing's in my way. Okay, now, let's okay. lose the cross. We get it. It's a silly religion that makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, your red bracelet fell down. No! My Kabbalah red string bracelet! Why? Oh, no. Kabbalah, 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 Kabbalah. Yeah, keep Kabbalah. saying that, baby. I'm it's going to make you feel better. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's lose the cross, people. We're going to do it again. Okay. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's good, my uh, oh. It's amazing how many great dance moves you got oh. in from the yoga. Hmm, actually, I learned most of these positions from dating Dennis Rodman. Ooh, Ooh. I mean, a bullet of my grande. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, now uh, we're, we're crawling uh. and we're sexy uh. and seducing. Uh. Ow! I, I'll get you oh. some knee pads, baby. My knees are bloody genius, okay? It's the routine. We need something else here. Oh, I know. I'll tongue some of the female dancers. I mean, that's easier. I mean, edgier. Maybe you shouldn't push so much since your accident and everything like that. I fell off a horse, Juan, not a bloody building. I promise to be careful, okay? Now lace up my roller skates while I put on these horse blinders. Okay, from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. And I'm circling, and I'm circling, and I'm... <laughs> Madonna! Madonna! Are you all right? Uh, 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 um, I think we should definitely lose the blinder. Oh, nonsense. I'm fine. It's just, um, sometimes it's difficult to dance and talk at the same time. I mean, this British accent takes a lot of concentration. Onward! I think we'll do my classic chair routine here. What do you think, Juan? Okay, from the top. And we spin and kicking and spinning and kick, spin and... I just kneel. Are you all right? Oh, my God. I'm great. You know what? I'm kind of bored with this chair routine, so let's change it up some, shall we? And lose the routine part altogether. So, the dance number is, is now just, just sitting in a chair? Of course not. We'll also be showing a video comparing Bush to Hitler while I flip off the audience. That's very edgy, Madonna. Mm -hmm. All right, from the top. Two, four, six, eight. And we're sitting and we're flipping and sitting and flipping. Push it. Just oh, sitting and... Cut, cut, what cut. happened? Juan, this what? chair is killing my bum. You want me to put some ointment for you? No. What's next? Your entrance is swinging in on the glitter ball from up there. 
You know, maybe I do have a bit more to say about Christianity. Okay, can we get the cross back, people? This is nice. A nice and blasphemous. <laughs> you know what? I think I might just stay up here for several songs. That'll send a message. Now, does this crucifix have a recline feature? We love magic. Cutting a woman in half, scarves that never end. Johnny Knoxville's career. Ouch. Honestly. We're outside this convention center where the world's most famous magicians have gathered. And now, like M. Night Shyamalan's popularity, it's time for us to disappear. Excuse me, are you David Copperfield? Ha <laughs> ha! There is only one. Here are my keys. Fetch my car with all speed. Hey, man. I'm not a valet. My name's David Blaine. I'm a master illusionist, just like you. Oh, really? My boy, I've made the Statue of Liberty disappear and walked through the Great Wall of China. How have you mystified the world? Uh, <clears throat> I held my breath for a really long time. Uh-huh. But it's more than that. I was in, like, this human-sized fishbowl, completely exposed to the sun. And my fingers were permanently shriveled, and so were my nads. Yeah. My friend, true illusions are portals which take us into the extraordinary. What you are doing are not illusions. As a matter of fact, I think I've already seen guys do that on Jackass. Millions of people watch me on TV. You were good for you, David Spade. Seriously, let me show you a true illusion. You there, homeless man. What, what'd you call me? You have been chosen to go on a journey into the fantastic. Observe. There seems to be something in your ear. Uh oh Why, look. It's a shiny quarter. I'll bet that will buy you a cup of coffee to soothe the chills on those cold winter nights. Oh, yeah, thanks, but I'm, I'm not... Excuse me. If you look to your right, you'll see that I have shut myself in this homeless man's tiny cardboard box. In the true test of human endurance, I will stay in this box for three days. Yeah, I don't live in a box. Oh, I... I'm fading. Code blue! Everybody clear! <sighs> he will live. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Very well. It's time to cease with these childish games and make contact with the incredible. Homeless man, begging for change all day must make you hungry. What? Isn't it time you had a nice meal? Come on. Come on. No for crying out loud. Want to see a real trick? Hey, look! It's the Energizer Bunny! He keeps going and going! How's he do that? I don't know! Wait! Smelly homeless man! Excuse me? Getting to your destination with a proper transit must be quite a chore. Perhaps you'd like to travel in style! Please! Ride my saddle tiger! Oh, yeah? I'll do you one better. The world record for sharing a dumpster with a tiger is six weeks. But I, David Blaine, We'll stay there so long that by common law, we will be married. Oh, oh, oh the pain. Oh, don't open the lid until I'm legally married to this tiger. I can't believe this. Well, Copperfield, I guess the world of magic has passed you by. Guess I'll go smash myself in the groin with a sharp stick or something. Done it. We'll be right back with Starveillance. What a great Academy Award show tonight, right? American Beauty wins Best Picture. Michael Caine gets Best Supporting Actor. But the most memorable moment involved Hillary Swank. Not that she won Best Actress, it's that during her acceptance speech, she forgot to thank or even acknowledge her husband, Chad, I think I'm crying low. I know how that feels. Dude, stop. Come on, man. Get it together. Uh, sweetie, you closed another door Ooh, on me. I'm sorry, Chad. It, it's just been such a long, crazy night. Oh, well, uh, technically, it's morning be uh, because it's what's bright outside. Hi, this message is for Chard Load. This is your...
your agent. You have an audition for a Crab Shack restaurant for the role of Captain Crab. Call us back. Thank you. Bye-bye. Did you hear that? Honey, possible work. Well, yeah, that's really great. Captain Crab? <laughs> oh, wow. You know, I wonder how a crab becomes a captain. I mean, it's going to be a real acting challenge. Hello? Oh, oh, oh thanks. Uh, I did look good, uh, didn't do I? Do these look like uh, pinchers? What? I'll have to practice on the beach. Oh, he's doing great. Are you using the beach yeah. later today? Oh. Could I? He's my special little guy. Oh, now that's nice. Yeah. She's nice. And I mean, I just I... love that he has my name on him. Actually. That... I know. <gasps> he looks so good. Oh. Next to my Independent Spirit uh, Award. Oh. That's where he's going. Okay. Just... <laughs> I love my Oscar. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, I, I gotta go. I'm starving. Oh, oh, starving. Mm -hmm. I'm starving, too. Oh, could you believe it tonight when Don Cheadle mistook me for a seat filler? Me. <laughs> What does a guy have to do to get noticed? Slit his wrists? <gasps> of course. Okay, this is it. For realsies this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye, cruel world. Give me that. Oh, honey, I knew you cared Aren't about... are these beautiful? Congratulations on the Oscar win tonight for Boys Don't Cry. Now that I know you're actually a girl, I'd love for you to join me at my beach house in July. Love Rob Lowe? What, is he crazy? I know. I mean, I am shooting so the core this summer. It's in all the trades. Oh, I am so very mad. Oh, what, hello? Rob, I just got the flowers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I did. Um, uh-huh. Hillary. Mm. Hill, Hill, Hill. Oh, Hill, I know. Sweetie. I Hill, still can't believe Hill, I won either. Hill, Especially I'll, considering who I was up Mrs. against. Mrs. Lowe! Huh? Oh, no, nobody counts, Janet McTeer. This is the last straw. I don't think anyone even saw that movie. Hold on, um, I'm getting another call. Hello? Hi, uh, Hillary, I'm calling to tell you that you're, um, sitting on me. Chad, I'm on the other line. I'll see you when I get home. Rob? <laughs> hey. Oh, no, there's nobody. Okay, that's I it. Know. I so am annoying. leaving and don't they know? Now. I'm an Oscar winner. <laughs> I said I am leaving now. Oh, you are and maybe such a I won't be guy, back. Rob. How about you are... that? It's too bad Process you're married. That. Ooh. Tell me you have a brother. Tell me you have a brother that's as successful Actually, and uh, handsome all my stuff is here, and so smart I'll probably and successful be back, as you but are. But not for a while. Next time on Starveillance. Hey, leave us alone. It's, it's me. Bring it on.